guys, welcome back to my channel. And for today, we're here for yet another tutorial. This is actually the third installment of my how to's on YouTube series. For the first two of how to start vlogging and how to make your own thumbnail, I'm gonna link them in the description down below. So please do check them out. For today, I'm gonna share with you how I edit this. I recently got requests on how to edit videos using just your mobile phone. I personally edit mine using my laptop just because I find it easier to navigate with a bigger screen and with the use of my mouse. But I understand the unbeaten portability of mobile phones. That's why I'm doing this tutorial and I was on the hunt of a good video editor that I can use. Um, while searching, I stumbled upon a lot of different ones that are also free for download, but Video Shop Video Editor specifically caught my eye. It has 4.9 stars of over 200,000 ratings, so the number speaks for itself. First, I'm gonna try to import some of the photos that I have here. So I'm thinking I need six photos of nachos. After a few seconds, the video shop will land here. There will be just some guidelines since we're new to video shop. And after that, I'm just gonna resize my frame using the YouTube aspect ratio of 16 is to 9. Since I have some of the photos in portrait mode, what I'm gonna do is just resize it so that it would fit the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And I'm just gonna do that to all of the other photos because my concern is just to make sure natural space is in the frame. Now I'm setting the duration of each photo since I have in mind that the Transition would be just a smooth flowing of the photos showing one by one with not just name or letter. So I wanted to, ch to change every half a second. I want it to be fast paced so the transition would be good and that's what I'm after. And right now I'm just putting the text in each of the photos. So in the first photo, I'm going to put the N, the next one is A, and so on, spelling not just name. To do that, I just selected their text feature, and while you do that, you can double tap it and type the letter or words that you want to use. They also have like a bunch of different fonts that you can use. Some of them might be um, the pro version, but in the free version, there's a considerable amount of different font and styles that you can use and I think it's pretty good actually. I'm using this one that has a glow around it, like a glow, glow outline. I really like it. I think it looks very nice.
once I'm done with the text, I want to add the music um, as a background. I think it's nice that they provided some of the music that you can download for free and you can actually use it on the, on this editing. So I chose the funk one that I want to go with the introduction that I'm editing here. And right now I'm just adding a um, few of the video clips that I want to include in the introduction. I'm just going to do the same thing, um, click on import and select some of the video clips from my camera roll and just select them and, and it will automatically get imported. Some of the videos are too lengthy and I just want to get some parts of it. So now I'm using the trim functionality that they have and I'm just getting the section of the video clips that I actually want to be included in this um, video. I'm gonna do the same thing on the couple of videos I added, just trim it and get the section that I really want, bearing in mind that I want it to be in sync with the audio that, or the music that I actually attached to this earlier. In this video, I actually want two of the sections. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split first the video and trim each part, getting the parts that I really want to be included. I'm trying to figure out where I want to split it. And once I found that out, uh, I'll just go ahead and click on, on the section and then as you can see here, it is now divided into two clips. What I'm gonna do next is to get into one and then trim it and get the parts that I want and I'm gonna do the same with the other one as you can see here. Next is we have transition. I want to add a little bit of drama and so I'm gonna go ahead frame by frame and put different transitions in between them. Video Shop actually offers a lot of different transition. I was actually amazed on their different presets because it's for free. Some of them are set in pro version but you can select them and it will just ask you to watch an ad like what you can see here and I think that's really really very generous of the developer team um thank you for that that's gonna be really helpful i know that it can be you know annoying at some point um watching ads and all of that but we're talking about free editing app here and you can't really lose anything by just watching ad in that way you're also helping the developers of the deal shop They also offer a lot of different sound effects for free, so that's amazing. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm looking for a beeping sound that I can incorporate with the colored TV um, strips that I want to put in the last part of my video. In here, you can actually adjust where you want to put the 
audio in which frame you want to hear it and that's what i'm doing right now i'm actually kind of struggling here because it's kind of hard to navigate with a very small screen of of the mobile phone but you can get the, the job done either way now i want to adjust the audio that i previously attached to this one the funk one i want to make sure that it covers only the frames that i want to hear the audio for so i don't want the the funk one to be um, heard when this colored strips appear in my video so i'm adjusting it you can also adjust the duration of each of the transition and that's what I'm doing here. I just want to make sure that each transition will be in sync with the music that I have as a background. They also have filters for the photos or video that you can select from. This is there's a wide range and each of the filters you can actually adjust their intensity. I'm going ahead and see one by one of the video clips that I have and which filter can I use in each one of them. Uh, I'm trying different ones here and they deciding which ones I will be using. It really depends on the preference. I am just trying to kind of see how I can put it all together. Before we end this video, let's have some recap, shall we? So for the basics of video editing, we want to make sure that we include all or some of these elements in our video. First, we want to have text, music or sound effects, trim, cut, split, transitions and animations, and lastly, filters. Now, these are not in any particular order. You can include them all in your videos or some of it. I hope this video tutorial somehow helped you guys in starting your video editing. And this is actually the end of my video. I hope you liked it. If you do, please subscribe and like this video. And thank you so much for watching. See you again next time.